Ashburn City Council meeting of December 7th. Here's your agenda. Routine items, routine items. Has mitigation plan that's been approved by the other cities and the county commission. Simply waiting on the city council to do it. Our time, the benefit plan is just the city employee insurance. <clears throat> Ranchos 2 is going into the old Shawnee's building. It will be another Mexican themed restaurant. They've discussed the lead grant resolution before. LMIG is the paving program where the Department of Transportation gives us money to pave. The city has to approve the SPLOSC <clears throat> referendum so that it can be voted on in 2024. There's a closed session. Chuck Martin is asked to speak to the board tonight and John Burgess will discuss city business. The meeting will begin in just a few minutes. I was just informed the name of the restaurant is Pancho's, not Rancho, that's a typo. Pancho's.
adopt a resolution to amend the minutes of the June 1st, 2023 meeting. Uh, 
Mr. Lamar, do you want to address that? Yes. The minutes for the June 1st, 2023 meeting, uh, he did not put the reason why we went to executive session, but we need to amend those minutes to reflect that the mayor wants to ask for a motion to go into executive session at 7 or 8 p.m. And the purpose of that session was to attend the litigation under OCGA section 50 dash 14 dash 2. Council member Pierce made a motion and council member Smith made the second. The eyes of council member Pierce go on the right hand to the motion. Are there any questions about that? If not, I will ask for a motion to approve the adoption of this resolution to amend our minutes of the June 1st meeting. I have a motion, I have a second. Second. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries, thank you. Next item on the agenda is to approve the Turner County Hazard Mitigation Plan Resolution. Chief Purvis? Yeah, so I presented this uh, back in uh, November and all we had was just the um, amend, amended, um, the appendices um, I emailed out the actual plan that they gave me so y'all can look it over. We have to update it every five years. It's just putting a plan into action. Um, we updated all of the uh, critical facilities, myself, uh, Sycamore, Rebecca, uh, and Turner County all kind of met, uh, went to every meeting. And so it's just to where if something was to happen, we can get some mitigation money to get back some on back on our feet if we were having a you know a tornado or some tragic event. So um, everything's in there pretty well, pretty well in the same manner as, as the last five years um, with some updated pricing with you know inflation and stuff like that. So. Any questions for Chief Purvis about this? And I don't know if y'all have seen it, but I do have a copy of it. I thought most everyone had seen it. Um, okay, so at this time I will uh, ask for a motion to approve the Turn County Hazard Mitigation Plan Resolution. I have a motion. I have a motion. I have a second. Second. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. <coughs> The next item is to discuss the GMA defined benefit retirement plan restatement. Yes. So we got this from, I think you all have it in your agenda packet. If you look at the second paragraph, it spells out the correction um, that they made to the plan um, and they just ask it for our approval. So the, everybody has it? Okay, so the paragraph says to protect the plan tax qualified status, GMEBS file draft restating plan documents, updating to reflect recent amendments and comply with the changes in the federal tax law with the RIS on June 29, 2022, and so on and so on. So basically, they just asking us to accept the changes to the to the benefit plan. It doesn't change the the uh, distribution or the contributions. They just change the word. That's what it took place. Sorry for my tardiness. Any questions for Mr. Hall about that? Okay. Next item is to
Ponchos Cantina and Grill LLC, located at 840 Shoney's Drive. Uh, they have met all the requirements, and uh, Miss Lynn has approved uh, that that they are uh, are have filled out all the paperwork and meet all the requirements. Uh, are there any questions or comments about it? If not, I will ask for a motion to approve the beer, wine, on-premise consumption, and distilled spirits, on-premise consumption for Poncho's Cantina and Grill. We have a motion. May I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Motion carries. Uh, Mr. Sean Hampton is with us tonight, and he's going to discuss the lead grant resolution that we must adopt tonight. LMIG update and a GFA resolution. Good evening. Uh, in your packet, you should have a, a lead grant resolution from GFA. Um, GFA requires you to, to provide this resolution. It may look like it's a loan, but you're getting all grant money for your lead and copper inventory for 192,000. Um, but the governing body needs to sign this resolution or adopt this resolution to receive the money. And this is part of the project that at, at October of 2024, all public water systems have to provide a lead and copper inventory to EPA. So. This goes to assist you with that process. Uh, Wait on questions or comments, Mr. Nothing. Zero. Zero. It's all it's all grant funds. So part of the GIF loan requirements is for you to approve this resolution. <coughs> Even though it's a grant, it's, it's a little confusing, but Deep is in the business of doing loans. So even though it's a grant, they, they refer to it as loan, but it's a $192,000 grant. So there's no match. There's no match. No match. And they can't, the state got water rates to do it for none of that. No, it's, it's all grant money. They, they're going to give you the money to do the lead and copper inventory. And you have to grant do money. Some grant money is still travel. You're, you're exactly right. Some, some projects have matching funds, and, but this is not, this is not that. It, it, it's strictly grant funds. There are requirements. If you bid out services, you have to follow certain uh, public works law bidding requirements, but you don't have to add any money into this to get the money. Any more questions or comments? If none, I will ask for a motion to um, approve the lead grant resolution. I make a motion. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. All right, Sean's got a couple of other things. First, he's going to give us an update on the LMIG. The LMIG update. Um, we updated. Well, let me start over. The LMIG project bids the first week in January and gets advertising as of today. So 30 days from today, we'll open bids for the LMIG project. And the roads we selected were, I think it's called the Hannibal area, or maybe, maybe Kennedy, Barber, um, and Hannah Avenue. But you, you can select then once we bid the project, if we need to shift the actual road, we can do that as long as POP is updated. But you have about $130,000 of LBA funds <coughs> to spend. $120,000 of that is, is DOT grant money, and you'll have to match it at 10%. So you'll have to add 13, I think it, you have to provide $13,000. So that's where the LMIG project stands. Uh, 
But I believe we've already approved this project. This project has already been approved. This project was, um, we're talking about it and we're getting it out for bids. So we'll open bids in, in January. Those are three roads we we were looking at, but we can but shift. We can shift. We can okay. change. So if we go over and look, and we think that there's a road that need attention more than Arbor Hammond or Kennedy, then we are literally going to change the roads. Can you speak on the back story how we got here? So I can help me in what caused us to do. Okay, so the way we get to the 120,000 is because our former city manager was called with a bank. The LDA money for two years, and that's how we get to 120. All right, so Sean and I were talking today, so we can apply for the LDA in 2024 and still be using it because it's going to be 2024 when we do the road. So, and we are allocated that six and plus thousand dollars in 2024, we can still use that on those roads also. Good. We're not gonna be able to do all of the roads at one time, but we do want to pick out the ones that is the worst to do. Good. DOT has a LA formula amount that you can access online. Um, 2022, you received 58,859 and 10 cents. For 2023, you get $60,000 in some change. And then for 2024, once you apply, which the period goes from now until probably February, you'll receive 67,000, but you have to match that 10%. So right. that, those are set by the state on what y'all get based on your road mileage. And you say it starts in 2022, right? Yeah. Yeah, not 21, not 20, not 19. We've already spent those funds. I just, just want to get a back door. Right, right. We, we, we've been out, since I've been doing this over the past six or seven years, we've been out, you know, since 2016, 2017, 2018. And they, you, the city usually, you can, as the city manager was saying, you can bank up to three years of your money if you want to do, do a bigger project. So a lot of years, the city would collect two years of revenues and then do one project. So you can only... You know, sixty thousand dollars don't go very far through service county. So, but uh, we bear in mind, the more asphalt you buy, the cheaper it is. Well, that's the, the update on the Elmin project. Um, Thank you. Uh, also, you wanted to uh, give us an update on the Jesus project, which we have left off the agenda, and I apologize. Yes, um, back in October. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll back it up. Um, the city of Ashburn has a GFA sewer loan. It's, it's called a Sadra fund for like $1.6 million. You're marked for sewer. We did a project October the 10th. We had five bidders bid on that project. Um, and you don't have it in your package, but I can. I can definitely email it to everyone. We had five bidders get on the project. The low bidder was a company called Inliner Solutions. Their bid was $1,263,835. They were the parent low bidder. Um, I have sent a letter to the city recommending an award to that contractor in that dollar amount so that we can start beginning a sewer rehab project, which Basically, it starts from Jackson. It's kind of the downtown area. It's Jackson up to Hudson. And it's kind of bounded on 41 on the west and uh, Cleveland on the east as a way to rehab kind of the downtown area that doesn't qualify for for um, grant funds like CBD <coughs> funds because you don't really get too many grant funds for business areas. So that was the uh, the GIFA project, sewer rehab project. Um, and that project, what did you do? 
they're going to video all the sewer lines in the area and rehab areas that are leaking. So the first step is to video all the lines and then we'll do a cure it in place liner to repair it or in some cases we may have to pipe burst the line and then we'll reconnect the sewer line doors. And set, a, set a clean out at the right of way. It's the whole, kind of a whole big square from, if you can envision, 31 on the west side, Jackson on the south side, Cleveland on the east side, all the way north up to, I think it's Hudson. It's What's about infestation that's coming from our There's a, there's a CDBG project going on right now on the, on the west side from West End looping back around uh, towards Lee Street. So it, it's a it's kind of a, a tiered approach to hit the areas that we can serve with grant funds. We're chasing grant projects to fund that and areas that grants aren't available, we're doing a different you know funding source. <laughs> yes. What'd you ask? I would ask if it'd be all the same lining. It'll be all the same type of lining. It could be a different company installing the liner, but it'll be a, a lot cured in place liner. You know, we've been a lot of infrastructure in the sewer system down there. Yes. That's why I have it. Yes, yes. And the goal is to rehab as much of the sewer as we can to reduce the I and I coming into your lift stations, overflowing your water plant, your wastewater plant. Um, that's all reason that that area that keeps getting spilled, and that's our worst thing. <coughs> MLK lift station, the front and back cross, front and back cross. Some, some of that's been rehabbed. Yeah, they say drainage basin, if you can imagine north of Hudson, that kind of wraps around towards the west end, that all that drains to that side of town. And then everything, you know, west of the railroad track, south of MLK, or Washington, drains to uh, MLK. See, that MLK list station drains a lot of the city. They come off my interstate. Yes, sir. But, um, that was the next project we bid out, and all this is part of a corrective action plan that the city agreed to do because of violations on sewer sewer overflow. Uh, EPD is requiring the city to address problems, sewer problems, and this is part of a corrective action plan to eliminate I and I and reduce the overflow. And so. Just be mindful that EPD is not asking us to fix this. They're not telling us to do it. So we don't have a choice. We have to get this done. And this is a project that y'all already agreed for. Y'all already got the loan, the money. I mean, this is not, you're not having to go out and get more deeper money. You've already signed the contract to do the project. This is just the results of the. This is just a bid result for the project. So. Yeah, but they didn't. 2021, I'd have to go back and look. 2020, 2021. I'm a new counselor. No, no, I understand, <laughs> and I don't have the exact, I can get that to you, though. Back to John's question about the quality of the sewer to make sure throughout the project, are somebody going to be there to make sure they get the same type quality throughout the repair of the sewer line? Because we don't have some company in the will start off with something and end with something else. No, I, I feel confident that they'll put a qualified liner in, but we'll be we'll be on site periodically and. We'll be in touch with Adam. I mean, it's pretty standard procedure. It's just a matter of 
on these sewer rehab projects, they do a, a pre-video and a post-video. So when they get through rehabbing, they're gonna provide us a video that shows the finished product. So you can actually visually see what they've done. So yes, I, I feel fairly confident. And, and if y'all don't mind, Mr. Hanson will be available after the meeting if you have any questions or comments. Thank you. Okay, so you don't need to make the red. I'm sorry, you don't need to make the resolution. You don't need to vote on that or to award that project. Or we have to approve the resolution. Yes, approve the resolution, right. the resolution and award the project to the road bed. Except one, we did not have a resolution in the packet. Yes, yes, and that's one of the sewer rehab project that I was just referring to was. Um, Inliner Solutions was, was the low bidder at $1,263,835. They were the low bidder out of five bidders. And I'm recommending that the city award the contract. Okay, Sean, but also we need to enlighten the council that we, we had a conversation because that grant at CDBG is for a million dollars. So it was 258000 over. And we had a conversation about using proper funds to balance that 258000 so that we don't have to use city funds. So right. I just want to enlighten them that, that that project was for a million. So we do have a plan to get the 258000 from a proper, a sewer proper fund that was granted to us um, a couple of years ago. Which is not the GIFA fund. Right, which is not the GIFA. So we need to uh, approve uh, using inliner to do this project. I'm recommending you, you recommend award the project to inliner. Okay, and what is the whole name of the company, inliner? Inliner Solutions LLC. Okay. So this so is one y'all didn't have in your packet. Right. At this time, uh, if there are no more questions or comments, I will need a motion to approve the project uh, um, to uh, Inliner Solutions LLC. Hey, before we vote on anything, could we get some paperwork to look at it to see what's going on before we let the AGI go and vote on stuff? That don't make sense. Well, technically, you already approved this. You all already approved this. Yeah, I'm, I'm new here, but I still want to know if I'm voting on it. Yeah. I mean, you already approved it. Yeah. You already approved the CDBG. And so, what he's doing is just presenting what you already approved, where we put it out for bid, and the bid process came in. We had a bid opening, and everybody was invited to the bid opening. So, basically, what he's doing is just telling you what the bid was, the lowest bidder, and asking you to approve the lowest bidder, but you already approved the CDBG. What, what I need is, is uh, a motion to approve to uh, give the uh, project, award the project to Inline <coughs> Solutions LLC for $1,250,000. What's that? Well, they were the low bidder. I mean, I can show you the, the bid tabs that the council wants to see it. Um, but I just was not aware if it did get in your packet where you would have had all this stuff um, before me. If you want to pass that around, it would help. I know it's um, no last minute. But out of five bidders, uh, they were the low bidder. Probably 60 days. At, at some point in time, 
they may not honor the contract and you just have to rebid it if, if you want. Tier is all Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Too many projects. Uh, the JIPA project actually had, you know, 1.3 million dollars. So you don't you don't have to supplement. You don't have to supplement this project any. You you have all the funds for the JIPA sewer project. It, city manager is referring to the CDBG project. And I may not have told y'all that. There's there's a there's 1.3. You know, one million three hundred seventy-four thousand dollars set up for the sewer rehab project, plus one hundred thirty-one thousand dollars in contingency. So there's basically a million and a half dollars for the deepest sewer rehab project. Huh? Yeah. I should I should let y'all know that. So, so that's the state of the floor. Cities in the counties of the county voted um, in Splash in 2017. It was for a six year term. So the county got by the city and the county, it was supposed to be voted on in November of this year. But the state has granted us an extension and we have to get this done. So I have the intergovernment agreement, I have the resolution um, for this. Um, the splotch. So what we have to do is we have to get together, look over our splotch and come up with a list of items that we want to do as far as for the splotch. We have them to March to get it done. It has to be voted on next year. At the first election that we have, it has to be voted on. So we have just a little while to get this put together um, and then submit it. The county will call a meeting, a group meeting for the three cities and the county, uh, preferably the next week. So we will send out a notification for that. But in the meantime, I do have this for you all to look over and put together a list of items that we want to include on the spot referendum. It doesn't require us to vote um, tonight but we need to get together really fast and put together a list of them or documents. Uh, Coach, we almost missed it in six months. Well, it was in 2017. Actually, the state notified us. Everybody dropped the ball. Who's everybody? The county and all three cities. Yeah. 
everybody dropped the ball. So the state notified the county, and then the chairman started to contact everybody about the instructions on how we need to get this done in order that we don't lose this. city's attention the Orchard Hill trailer park. Our understanding is that roads and right of ways were deeded to the city. The city owns that property. We've been down there with chainsaws, axes, cutting trees out of the ditches so cars, two cars can pass down there. Completely ignored by the city. Now they mow out there next to the railroad tracks two, three times a week. But as far as another road, never. Just bring that to your attention. Item number two is the city picking up construction material on Madison Avenue and on 32, that you turn off 32. Now we do a lot of remodeling. We can put a cardboard box and a two before out by the road and within two hours I'm getting a phone call. Get that up or you're gonna be fine. Yet we have one, two, three, four city workers, six pieces of city equipment over on Madison cleaning that up. Now I don't know where they hauled it to, but if they hauled it to Harvey, that was a lot of taxpayer money spent on construction material when we've been told repeatedly, you put stuff in the dumpster. That there gets picked up moved off, not a word said. Now, it's just not fair for some of us that's doing it. We can't get our stuff picked up. Other stuff gets picked up. You know, I just want the city to be aware that, you know, it's got to be apple to apple, oranges to oranges. You know, we can't have, we're going to do this here, we're not going to do this here. We're going to take you to court if you don't do it, what we tell you you're supposed to do. It's just not right. Mr. Mark, I own that I'm, property. There was no construction over it. There was no construction. Over it. So if you're going to tell me right, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to argue with you, but I about. rode by there. And there was, there no, was construction. Construction no material. There was no wood. You got to let him speak first. I, I, I'm just telling then you then what I saw with my own two eyes. Right. I did not say you did any construction. I'm saying there was construction material beside the road. There was three pickup trucks, two dump work trailers, and a backhoe, and four guys over there for hours cleaning that mess up. But like I said, you know, we can put a two by four in a cardboard box side the road. I get a call from the compliance office to say, hey, get that up. If not, we'll see you in court. You know, we got to get we got to get things right. You know, you guys were elected to lead this city. You got to lead by example. And you can't tell me to do this, but I'm gonna do this. That ain't right. Enough said. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Council Yes. yes. Mr. Curtis, you, you came right up with any construction there on that side? All I saw, you know. So this all started from. Um, Mr. Burgess taking over the house, it was a compliant issue as to uh, clean the yard, and he did. Uh, as far as what was in the trash, I couldn't tell you. I know it was a pile of stuff, so. It was all junk and trash. And second of all, I didn't tell nobody to pick up nothing else. The guy took it up on their own to pick that trash up. I got rental houses too. I stayed on y'all when I was on the street department. I got rental houses too. I haul my stuff off. We got dump trains and everything. So I don't have to use the city to do nothing for Johnny Burgess. That, that was not all lost by me personally. I didn't tell him to pick it up. The city done got some of y'all stuff 
you know, picked it up the phone. I don't think the guy. Yes, yeah, yeah they don't need it. I know they need it because I'm a deal. I'm no discreet department. So I'm jealous it's that's right. Right. And another thing, you're talking about what we was elected to do. You don't even live in Turkey County. You live in Lee County. That's right. I live in Lee County. Look at the tax rates. And, and just a slow low. Because the stuff you got these people living in, these people went in the city of Ashton shouldn't even allow them to stay in and live like that. So we might need to get the uh, company force to start living in these houses. I don't want nobody to live in nothing. I want to live in myself. Uh, Mr. Uh, Burgess, you also asked to. Uh, I just spoke that picture. Yeah. Sir? And I just spoke that picture. Yeah. Uh, well, there being no other business, I, 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 I will ask for a motion. Yes. yes. This is um, extremely frustrating. Um, it's no secret as my initiative to clean up all the city of what we have. It's considered um, black property, the back of every home. Holding slump laws accountable or picking trash up or whatever the case may be. Um, and I think we're doing a great job, myself, Chief yes. Berger, and, and Spencer Wynn. But the community is watching. They're paying close attention to what's going on. So I often get calls, I get approached, you know, giving me companies saying what we're doing right. However, there's always a butt behind the company, and that butt stems from, hey, you got people on the council board that have properties that look a certain way, and the perception of council members, so-called calling people from picking trash up. So it even go farther than that. We have people that work for us who have concern, uh, who he was kind of skeptical about approaching or addressing things that have council member names attached to it because they feel like it's going to be retaliation, and it shouldn't be that way. Also, I was told that um, from a supervisor that won't work for us, that um, you don't supposed to put construction stuff outside the road, that um, a council member pretty much told them, hey, if the elder don't come pick this up, they won't have a contract. So we're dealing with things like that. And my colleagues, I mean, I'm trying to be, trying my best to be good for me, but at what expense? At the expense of the citizens? So, I, so I, do I suppose to turn a blind eye to my colleagues and have 2020 vision for the, the citizens? No. That's why we have rules and regulations set in place. No matter if it's the president of South Georgia Bank, you know, wine or wood at the corner of the liquor store. Rules and regulations for everyone. Nobody is an exception. We all need to be held accountable. So, um, again, Mr. Mark, thank you. Um, if you have any more concern, please come up here and let us know. And hopefully, we'll be right. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Smith. There being no more regular <coughs> business, I would uh, entertain a motion to um, go into executive session for the purpose of real estate and litigation. I have a motion to go into executive session for the purpose of real estate and litigation. I have a motion. May I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.